Real freedom requires the rule of law and justice. But what is justice without respect for human rights? What are this right? Do you know your right as a citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? What are your obligations and responsibilities under the law? Join Kayo Diadiremi Esquire on the law and Jew on Rock City. 101.9 FM, Sundays, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. All right, um, it's a beautiful afternoon over here in um, the Rock City. Rock City is the name of the station and Rock City is the name of the town. <laughs> so welcome to Rock City in the Rock City. Yeah, that's 101.9 FM at Beokuta. Speaking live from the station today in Ogun State, Nigeria, West Africa. All right, I bid us all a beautiful afternoon again, and um, I welcome us to uh, uh, this edition of The Law and You, your program on Rock City 101.9 FM. We take a short break, we'll be right back. Um, yes, welcome back again. Um, we're sorry for that little hitch, it's just about serving you better and better. Uh, Better. All right, it's your program, like I usually tell you, and really it is your program, The Law and You in Rock City, 101.9 FM. Last week we talked about a lot of things, bobbing on electricity and you. Um, particularly, we had a guest in the house who uh, tried to answer as many questions as he could um, on the program about electricity. Now, why electricity? I discovered that uh, I, I get to have a lot of um, callers, a lot of questions, a lot of SMSs. With people asking questions about electricity, what is Janowa, what is Benito Alo, uh, and being billed exorbitantly, outrageously, different things. Uh, you know, people ask questions uh, in almost on daily basis, every other day. You know, that's why we thought of bringing uh, to the studio last week and this week again to continue and hoping to round off. Of course, this is an ongoing concern, it can't end today. I have always told us if we want um, to have more of this, we can, you know, advertise, place adverts here on Rock City. Buy, you know, discuss with um, the marketing department. You can be sure and rest assured that your program will have better boost. We have millions of listeners. Even from those talking to me alone, I can tell that we have millions of listeners. And um, on this note, I'd like to thank our listeners, our callers, our friends all around for all your efforts, uh, for your calls, for support, for everything, for your prayers. In fact, donations at some point in time. May God bless you all. Now, if you want to listen to what transpired last week, you can go to your browser page and type Rock City TV. There you see a video recording of um, the programs that we run for you here in Rock City 101.9 FM. All right, why must we continue today in case you ask me? Last week, we could not take uh, many calls because of time constraints. That's why we want to today, um, as soon as I introduce our guests, I'll open the call lines so that we can take your questions. But please, when you call, try to be as brief as possible. Right? When you call, just tell us your name, where you're calling from, and go straight to the point. When you begin to cite examples, uh, we, we, we waste time a lot when that is done. We have just uh, about 55 seconds, few minutes rather, to do this. So very shortly, I'll open the call lines. All right, we have a guest in the house today. Uh, I must thank him already. Because um, despite his very, very tight and busy schedule, he um, came around today again to grace this program. Just because of you, again, I will say his name is Chief Sunday Odunto. He's the Executive Director, Research and Advocacy of ANET. If you ask me, what is ANET? ANET is Association of Nigerian Electricity Distributors. I was about laughing, Yala. <laughs> you know, I was about laughing. I remember NEPA bring the light. <laughs> that guy that sang that song was about the issues with NEPA. While growing up, I, I recall clearly, I lived, I grew up in Lagos, you know, then whenever, you know, light was, was to be bracket, in quote, taken, I recall that at times there would be an announcement on the radio that at social time, light to be off, social time, light to be on again, and they would tell us why. It's been a very long time I heard that, but let's just welcome our guest first before we go into all those um chief sunday of to kindly greet our listeners wherever listening to us um good afternoon listeners thank you very much for having me i'm happy to be here and i'll be more than happy to um get your questions and do my best to provide answers where elaborate answer is required i'm afraid it has to be elaborate where i can give a very short response so that we can take more questions i will do that but please bear with us thank you 
Thank you very much, sir. What I'm going to do now is just immediately call out the call lines so that we can begin to call in and ask our question. Please again and repeat, be as brief as possible. If you begin to drag too much, I'm sorry, you may have to end your call. The lines to call are 0810 786 0 0 0 0. Take that again 0810 786 0 0 0 0. The alternative line to call is 0701 132 7096. Again, 0701 132 7096. That is the second line um, to call. Uh, let's take a very short break again, please. We'll be right <laughs> Never bring the lights there, you know, I'm going to be go. I'll say. All right, um, let's, let's move straight to the questions. You take your calls. Uh, we have a call already. Let's get that, please. Very, very briefly. Hello. All right, another one. Hello, good afternoon, please. Hello. Can you speak up, please? You're on air already. All right. Hello. 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 There should be total ban on importation of generators into Nigeria if we want electricity. What is your name, sir? Where are you calling from? There are Alani speaking from Google. There should be total ban of importation of generators. Because those who are using generator never care about electricity. Okay. And our development is in electricity and not on generator. All right. Thank you very much. Let's take. Um, thank you very much. I'm sorry. Hello. We need to manage Hello. our time. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Kasson Sao. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Am I on? Very well. Live. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, it's Sunday or school. Thank you, thank sir, you. off school. God bless you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, good afternoon, uh, sir. Yes, God bless you. Yes, sir. Uh, three weeks ago, when you were on, yeah, you lamented the situation at the Rock City, uh, who oppressed on a large drum of diesel. Uh, without uh, uh, electricity. Yes. Now, what do you have at the back of your mind to help that station as of this situation? Thank you. God bless you. Okay. I got a message on my phone now. Somebody is saying I didn't say my name. <laughs> I suggest I propose you know it already. I, I think I assume rather. Okay, I'm Kayode. I'm Barista Kayode. Adiremi. Somebody is asking, do you work for IBEDC? <laughs> okay, not yet. <laughs> I'm just a lawyer and I, I, I try to enlighten Hello. the rights and laws. Thank Hello, you. good afternoon. This is like your and your from Abel Putai. From Abel Putai. Uh, all right. Um, my question goes like this. Uh, why is it that when the transformer wanted to be installed in any community, when they call upon Nepal, they don't use to come to their rescue? And this always cause a lot of issues within the community because they pay NEPA regularly. Why do we refuse to give them what they need? Why do you say that, they don't come to rescue? That is my yeah. question. All right. All right. Uh, so, a number two, lawyer, please. And yeah. I need your number. I've lost your number, please. Okay. I'll call the number. Yeah, I'll go okay, I think let's, let's pause the course now. Okay, let's take this well, let's last one and then we'll respond. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. You're on air. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, Sorry. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's for Britain. If if you can just. Uh, I can't hear. You. I'm sorry. Hello, my buddy, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, sir. Yeah, you have been at the Thank God, I got through again today. I last you, I couldn't pass all my information to the kids in the house. One, the issue of gas, bringing gas from Okato Creek to Lagos to power turbine. I said, if you get across to me, we have abundant gas deposits 
that is being wasted in Badadi by Falawio oil company. The same thing in Ekpekos there by Tota. What's, so, a, what's your name, sir? My name is Benson Adi. I'm a planning consultant. Benson. I went to Badan to meet Chief. I couldn't see him. I told him, if you get to get fuel, gas oil from uh, Badagri to power uh, power land to and all the western region uh, power plant, we'll be saving like uh, one third on every kilowatt of electricity. And why did they not do that? This is what is the greatest possible I have. Then secondly, the issue of market expansion, I told you, I can expand your market revenue collection base and increase your revenue by at least by one third every month. Because half of our people here, they don't pay for electricity. They don't let your house are on your... On your on... Oh, does that again? I, I, I'll, I'll call after this call. Let's pause the call so that we can respond. So it shouldn't be too much. There are calls already on them. Hello, good afternoon, please. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, my name is Akin. This is from Kampa, Oh, yes. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, I want to ask our man that what can he, what, uh, what does he have to tell us? What uh, reason, I mean, reason why most Nepal states are using a uh, generator? Is it not a shame? Reason why what? Why do Nepal what people use generators in a Generator. Okay, that was a good point. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, let's let's pause the calls here, Ella, please. Um, is it not a shame? Okay. Um, let's take um, these uh, questions and then I read out the ones we had already before now. All right. Um, Alani from Ibogila. Total ban of generator. Your opinion, sir. Well, anybody who can put Sunday or Duto on YouTube. You will see over 100 videos that are uploaded by different media stations. I have repeatedly, the last time I did that was on Channel TV, Saturday uh, sunrise. I've called and I've suggested that for those of us that are in the power sector, we should not be allowed to be using generator. Beginning from the Minister for Power. And that should also include the seat of power in Abuja. If the villa, if they don't have generator, they will work on making sure that there is electricity in Nigeria. I don't think all Nigerians should suffer for that. For me, let them start with us, including myself, first. We can be allowed to use clean energy, like solar. That is not generator. But talking about the generator that we the generator that we we all know, what we all call generator. Because when you talk about electricity, electricity is generated. So there's generator of different types. But the generator you are talking about are the one we have in the home. So I agree with the caller on that one. I'm sorry, there, there is an um, immediate right to this question. Um, it, it sounds quite lofty because you recall that during, during, because of the COVID-19, yes. politicians and high-profile persons couldn't travel out for, for treatment because exactly. of course they were more exposed to that than yes. in Nigeria. All right, so the and question some is... Died, yeah, some survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some even call it Isolo. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the question is... Um, how how possible is what you said? You know, it would be a beautiful thing like Aisha Buhari said that health health facilities should be put in place in Nigeria. So how how workable is that? How how may that happen? Although that does not that does not fall within your confine or present as the spokesperson of ANEC, but it would be a beautiful thing truly. If for example, Minister of Power, don't use generator, you know, on except electricity, automatically they want to fix it. But how can this happen? So it won't just be a theoretical. A, matter of a lot of things that we do in Nigeria are very theoretical. We are very talk is cheap. Very well. And the same of so called Nigerian people are the ones that we even hail, those who are made minister or those who are in power. So for me, we should be practical. The point I'm making is that if those of us in the sector are not allowed to use generator, so we only have electricity from the grid and we have our solar panel, solar system, they also need to be. Your inverter needs to be um, uh, charged. So if you don't have supply for long, you won't have light. So the only reason for that is just that we are saying that we have failed, all of us. And we are saying that we should do something that will wake us up to do something. That is, that is, that is why I'm saying... All right. Okay. Let's, 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 let's um, my, my, my father and senior at Abeka Grammar School, well, everybody know him as Alabajon, but of course he has a name that is not Alabajon. But because you know him as Alabajon, I will just name Baba as 
and call him Alaba John, sir. Um, ask over Alaba John, sir. You spoke about my concern for Rock City. It may interest you to know. But for those who know me, my name is Odunto. My father is from Ijeun. And of course, my mother is from Okeono. So, Dr. Malaulu, who is the proprietor of um, Rock City FM, is my cousin. So, that is my brother. He's my elder brother. So, um, the, my interest is even beyond the call of my job. It's a family interest. Anything that will be good for Dr. Malaulu is good for me. When he was locked up in the days of uh, Abacha, of course, it was a sad thing for all of us that I related to him. But the issue is not about Rock City alone. The issue is about even Asher Estate. My maternal uh, elder uncle lives, and Alaba John knows him, I don't need to mention his name, but he lives in Asher Estate. So I have friends, I have people, and myself, where I live too. The same problem with Asher in Obantoku, and other people in Obanogu. So it's not about one person. So it's, it's about the town, the city. It's right to just say you cited it as, as an example. Applied yes. To... So it applies to everybody. I don't know how much electricity that Alaba John has in his own house, but all I know is that if there is sufficiency of production, which is if you generate more electricity, you'll be able to supply more electricity to more people. That is the basic thing. But the second thing that goes with that basic thing is that when they now supply more electricity to more people, more people should now try to form the habit or paying for that most uh, electricity that is supplied to them. And I said it last week, in this area, Ashero, from Ake, we collected only 13% of the energy supplied to the network. Whose fault is that, sir? The fault of the people that are not paying. You said people you should stop paying. Is, How about, is it that like you demanded they didn't pay? What exactly? So what you, uh, so because I'm passionate about something like No, 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 no. My point is this, and this is where we need to be more realistic and practical, like I said. Yes, very well. I'm a lawyer, I can go legalistic. I can say, do this, do that. We all know. Now, if in my area, 10 of us are known by the disco, but I know of a welder and somebody else that's tapping electricity legally, and I don't say anything, in a way it's going to affect me. I'm paying. My other neighbors are paying. But this guy is not paying. Now, those who are paying, um, uh, those are an estimation, estimated billing. The problem with those ones is that sometimes they are paying somebody else's bill without knowing, and the disco tree is not aware. So when you see sometimes you don't say something, you are already destroying your own neighborhood because that's what goes on. That will take me to the that's next thing. Before we go to uh, YK or Bass on Joseph, yes. I, on Friday, I got a call. I, I, got, I got the call on Thursday. I got it again on Friday that uh, in a particular place in Abeokuta here, some persons were bypassing electricity. Good. Immediately, I placed a call to the, I think the head or something in the um, Leme there. Mm -hmm. That's the, I think the business hub or something of IBDs. And I called them. I said, they didn't even know I was one calling really. I said, so and so and so things are happening somewhere. Yes. I must, I must give kudos to IBDC for this. In about 20 minutes, they drove down to my office and said, please let us go to that place. I'm so happy they came down, and we went there and we did all that. So, it's a beautiful thing. You caught them. And you find the fact there. Unfortunately, it appears that there is a mistake somewhere. You know, when the IBC staff got there, they discovered that the person had been paying. So the the, the suspicion now is that maybe because I heard that two days before the monitoring team went round. So it appears that they quickly reconnected back to their meter exactly. before we got there. So okay. that's what happened. But I must okay. give kudos. So uh, by the way, let me just quickly do this. Sir. I've asked for, in case you know someone. Especially welders, all those things. Please, if I, I think I have to ask for phone number, but in case you can use email, please send. It's called whistleblowing policy. Send to customer care, customer care ijeun at ibedc.com. Cost all together, customer care ijeun ijeun is i j e u n at ibedc.com. Nigeria is our mother, but we all have roles all to of play. Us. We have roles to play. Yes. So, Teban Jinolu Iwao Lenin, it is called stealing actually. It is criminal. So, before the program ends, if there's a phone number to call, in case Waja on Yawala return, do email, there are some things we can do. I will be a phone number, 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 I will be a
back on backboard. Alternatively, you can send to Olu Oduntan. Olu O L U O D U N T A N one. Olu Oduntan one. One here is one. Koshi O N U one as in O Kong at gmail.com. Olu Oduntan all together. Olu Oduntan one one as in figure one at gmail.com. Ejo eji a shekini tabashi koshi ko ko tumo si pe awa kodi ra. Um, akori ra alabagbe wa no ko tu wa se pa akori ra won abi ke en abi pe en tu asiri won no ki nigeria ki o bale dani asifun so let's move on to other questions with this sir yes so um so why ki obasanjo obasanjo the transformer very good question he said why is it that when it comes to connecting transformer or even repairing it and when you know that will, yes. so that's the bottom line. Yes. The, the answer to that is a short answer. It's because there's no money. No money with you. With IBDC or any of the discos. Oh. When I say no money, let me put it in perspective. If they have a request to energize, like I've seen before at Ibadan, a request to energize 185 transformers, and the money in their account can only do 28. So they only do 28. Which means the other people will have to wait. So that goes back to the issue that I discussed last week, which Nigerians don't like to hear that. And if this is in a Kokonwa, Ojalo Jalanta, and Baja then Tajani, the only bread is in Tajala Shiro, Unkoloni Bakery. And when you buy something, you have to be able to pay to the seller who sold to you. When you now sell to you and you don't pay your own bill, then we are not able to pay the people that we bought from. And we have requested for the federal government to take our license from us and give us our money back three times and they refuse once with mr jonathan twice with mr Buhari. but people say if the business is not good for you, why not go away those who say that say either out of ignorance because they don't know or out of mischief because they are just simply mischievous many nigerians are good many nigerians are also very mischievous so now it is just a pity because people should not be bearing the nigerians are now like victim of this thing very well. so i don't blame the caller the caller is right it is the disco that is supposed to repair your transformer or energize it or replace it. Including cables. And, and we, yes, yes, honestly speaking, that's what should happen. But the reason why those things are not happening is because you have less than what is required. So people need 20. You can only provide five. That's the failure. And I still apologize. I say, we are the ones that have failed. So what's okay? And I'm not going to be going on on the what do government we do? thing. Is there no, is, is, is it a dead end? There should be. Um, can, can, for example, don't be, people are listening to us. In fact, when I sent messages out today, I said there are business opportunities that may be open. So, a problem, so even even in warfare, even in warfare, some persons are getting are getting richer. So, are, are there no possibilities of uh, maybe like a PPP? No, so it's the problem, problem is not. Can there be a partnership with IBDC okay. to make this happen? I'm sure both those who live in Abeokuta are aware of a private company. That supply the city to some part of America as we speak. So it's not as if those are the premium. The private supply. company supplies. Yeah, they are premium in supply. Yeah, in some areas. They are premium supply. I'm sorry, sir. How do they I, generate I'm not going to, hydro? I'm, no, I'm not saying for their name. No, 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 no. How is this solar? Same or? thing, gas. Gas, oh, gas power. Okay, still gas fired. Okay. Now, the point I'm making is that if you live in Lagos, if you are under a Kenya electric, we have more than nine premium um, supply that we do um, with our customers. But the point I'm making is that when people are paying for electricity, they are also entitled to be given good service. And I can say that yes, they are not getting the service that they deserve because, on one hand, the product is being sold less than the cost price. That's one, and that's the government. That's federal government issue. On the other hand, the product itself, those some of many of those who receive the product, customers, are not paying. Some that pay, you give them five nine five thousand naira bill, they pay two thousand or they pay one thousand. For every time you pay less than the actual amount, you are changing the system. But they will tell you that no 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 that when they give you bill today, and you have not had that for the past one week, that bill that you are receiving today. Is for up to 23rd of July last month, this period last month, not for yesterday, last week, 
two weeks ago. Sir, can I can I speak for the people? And it's written on the bill at this point. Yes. To ban Shelley Ben if it happens mm. like that. Mm. The, for example, mm. IBC staffs have never had to come to my house to, to paste the bill or issue bill. Why? Because I have a prepaid meter. Before you have the meter, if, what happened? It, ha it used to happen. So where I'm going is this, and this is my mm. question. If the people, because it's sounding now, now like, because usually when the issue builds is for the past one you have consumed. Yes. But if people have prepaid meter, mm. this this would have, it will solve about 90% of this problem on ground. Okay, perhaps I'll remind you, I said you last week, I said the issue of metry has been taken off the hand of the disco. So speak to your government. Speak to your federal government of Nigeria. Please, at this point, I, I need to, you know, call Where out. the government call out, bringing meter to Nigeria. Yes, sir, I need to call out on all NGOs listening to us this afternoon. Let's come together. Let's do a coalition. Do very strong. I don't want to mention names. If I can, I will. We have Crusaders of Freedom. We have um, the civil um, CDHR. We have Sarah. List is endless. All you people that stand for rights and uh, advocacy and justice, let's come together. As you are doing that, sir, as you are doing that, sir, please yes. don't bring in those coalitions that some of us know. Those civil rights actually that collect money. I want to go back in. 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 I want to go don't get money to go and protest. <laughs> All right. I'm sure they are listening to us. Those that compromise, get money. Those that are sponsored Humble. to do what they are doing. Of course, yeah, yeah. that's criminal to start with in the first place. All right. What the moral one? I'm talking about um, real people. Let's come together, speak as one. In the, from the time I started hearing about IBDC issues, I began to have a rethink. That, so when clients approached us this time, I said, "Hold on. Let's not rush to court. Let's let's see how we can do a jaw a jaw to see possible." <laughs> Way out, sir. I have questions here written down. Let me just go to one. Maybe we'll come back to this one later. Okay. And let's see. I have been par partly privatized in Nigeria. From your wealth of experience, has this been in the best interest of Nigerians? The answer is capital, absolute yes. What is wrong is not privatization. In fact, privatization has made it easier. What is wrong is not privatization. What is wrong is the way privatization has been implemented by those who privatized in 2013. Number one, it's like we have a family house. You want to sell the family house to some private people. The money they paid, you took the money from them and you wasted the money. That's number one problem. Number two, when you are selling the family house to some private people, you sign an agreement with them. That agreement will have made them to be more efficient. But in that agreement, because you own 40%, you are only selling no 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 yamewa otamefa. You're selling six of the ten bedroom family house. And I don't agreement pay, I don't want to fall a B. You buy no ma da combined no machine. But as soon as you finish any the agreement, you just fail to fulfill your own side of the agreement. You don't have no family house. And that's what's going on with the privatization. But don't let us go back because i can tell you now that with the semen program coming on with the world bank issue that we're dealing with we're in talk with the federal government i'm just measured and for those who know me i've not i've been away from the media for the past four weeks it is because we're in a very high level discussion with the federal government with the president of the nation towards finding solution to this power sector crisis because unless and until we find solution we'll continue to talk 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 complain 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 Number one solution is every household, and that will happen soon, will have meters, most likely prepaid meters. So if every household in Nigeria State have prepaid meter, and we meter all the transformers, the day we see a difference between the energy supplied and money received, we will bombard Nigeria State with me that there are thieves there who are bypassing their meter. It will be easier to catch thieves when there are meters. It is more difficult to catch thieves when there are no meters. So that's number one. People need to be metered. Number two, Nigeria needs to include other means of producing electricity. Today we are generating two, two ways. Water, which is hydro. The second one is gas. And that give, the, uh, that takes me to the, um, to the elder gentleman that called yes. regarding um, uh, Mr. Benson, I think. Gas flaring. I will, I will implore him to please talk to the federal government, particularly to NEC, Nigeria Electricity Commission. 
Now, NEC is not in charge of Nigerian gas. They regulate the electricity industry. But the federal government are the one that own the body, including NPC, that can deal with the issue of gas and solve the problem of gas flying. But I get what the um, elder is talking about. In fact, he's a very patriotic Nigerian. What he's talking about is that something is not enough. Why are you wasting it, flying it? So all those ones, the federal government uh, issue. Maybe I, I should cannot mention, do anything mention something about um, Mr. or Elder Ben, if you're listening to me. I'll call out a WhatsApp line. Please, um, I think we can talk talk uh, after now. Who who knows? You can do a proposal and forward to appropriate authorities. Please, um, in fact, the WhatsApp to 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 send number two is um is um is zero zero. If you're listening to me, Mr. Ben, we even get get the name well. Then Mr. Abiduni, Akin yes. Abiduni, yes. ask a simple question. We'll, Why we'll, does IBDC people use generator? We'll come to we'll come to Mr. Abiduni. Okay. So just a quick one. WhatsApp number to send number uh, the just let's talk on WhatsApp. Let's see possibility of. Uh, you know, getting things better. Things can be better. It's zero is zero. Three zero five zero. Three two seven one. And that applies to YK or Basson Joe. If you're listening to me, you ask for my number. That's my number. Please, I prefer WhatsApp, please, so that um, to manage calls. Zero is zero. Three zero five zero. Three two seven one. Let's let's talk on WhatsApp. You know, if we talk and talk and we don't take action, then then you know it it doesn't make sense. We can take action too make things better now you were about talking about mr aki bidoni from camp that talk, yes why nepa he, use he has generator? a question that why does nepa use generator nepa use generator because they don't have light why don't they have light? nepa that you stick on nepa they are not nepa mm -hmm. we are distribution company disco mm -hmm. we don't have light because we are not the one that produces light we can only use what is given to us and i'll give you an example about Berguta. Abeokuta should normally be having an average of 300 megahertz every day, or let's say 250. With 250 megahertz every day, everybody will have light in Abeokuta for 24 hours. But sometimes we have 50, 28, 43, 64. Never ever have we ever had 100 megahertz for Abeokuta City. So it is not enough, that's sufficiency. And when it is not enough and I need to conduct my business, I have to find other ways of powering my system, or else you come to pay your bill there's no there's no light to, to, to put on the computer so let's be realistic it's not worry about all these sentiment um, generation companies need to generate more and federal government need to also put more effort into ensuring that there's more production you see may, I'm, I'm beginning to seriously think that um, a lot of so-called big high profile persons are benefiting from darkness in Nigeria I'm beginning to seriously think so because um oftentimes Blames are heaped on IBEDC or the discos because they're the ones that end users interface with most times. Okay, now the other time you mentioned Siemens and federal government arrangements, I, I I bleed about certain things in Nigeria. You know, presently and recently I saw um, that there is a particular MOU signed between the IITA and uh, this border so to, uh, down to Augusta, sir. Please. Um, Although it's not about uh, electricity anyway, that IIT and Ogun states through the Ministry of um, Agriculture signed an MOU, and I asked particularly, I tapped the Ministry of um, the Commissioner for um, Agriculture, uh, Mr. Dedino, Honorable Dedino. I tapped one uh, Mr. Ujo, I don't know his um, his first name. I tapped Mr. Pune Shomoni about two, at least two times. Not a single response was given, okay. and I begin to wonder why ask government. You are there to represent the people. You should speak back. Why? What is? What is? What is so secret? We expect that. We expect that if you are signing MOU on behalf of the people, the people ought to know what you are signing for them. Sir, I'm, ask, I'm saying this, and I've mentioned names. Those three people, I tagged them particularly. I'm saying this because, because it, you talked about Siemens. Why would Nigeria always do things like this, federal government, without so, letting the people know? If, if for example. The, the people have seen what you signed, that is the discourse with the federal government. At least it should have been a people's fight, a people's thing. As you are speaking, even as a lawyer, most of the things you have said here today and last week, I was hearing them for the very first time. I was thinking this could just have... Look, when I was in school, sir, when I was in school, there were times that if they took our lights, I'm sorry to use that English, students would go and beat up branch managers of Netflix, Nepa then, you know, so... Tabati no otobai, or tabati tiwomo no but moto, what am I done for? So, you know, 
it was someone like us that grew like that. We have light for about 20, almost 24 hours in Osu, I go with there. So we think that Nepal, you see that people that are constantly saying Nepal, Nepal, we think you are the problem. But why do we sign agreements as a country? Even with this course, same thing applies, and people don't know. If people knew, maybe they will fight better, really. But that goes to Open State, it goes to everyone listening to us. Maybe we should move straight to the other question we have, sir. Between, um, I, I discovered that electricity is on the residual list of the, you know, constitution. So, do you think, in your opinion, from your wealth of experience, it would have been, would it have been better if states have power in unfettered powers to legislate on electricity? Why? So one is to the federal government, in fact, a box the federal government. The law concern now says that the parts that the federal government does not cover, states may legislate on. Do you think that is like pretty like a hiccup? Or a I, I, I'm, I'm sorry again to say it this way, I don't know how best to put it. We've been messed up in this country. The country is messed up. We should start this with ourselves. I, I support the idea that even local government should be able to generate, transmit, and distribute their electricity. Well. But can they do it? Well, that is your own local, I don't know your own local government, though. No, but I, it's and Egbama, Wait, every Egbama has two local governments, legitimately. Legally, you must have, if an Egbama, you must have two local governments. My own two local governments are Abekuta South local government, then Obafemi, Wode local government. I'm from a large village, there, yeah, Obafemi. When that is my local government in uh, Obafemi, Wode, when that is they even clear the vegetation on the way to my village? It's a businessman. But they collect money, they collect money from their sellers all those people taxes of different yeah, types so the point i'm members, making yeah. the point i'm making is that states can do a lot but what have they done and what are they doing and what will they do the answer so we have messed up sorry. don't let us go there but when we go there maybe we should take some into calls politics. some calls don't want to go into politics. yes hello taking up calls yeah hello uh, yes zero zero eight one zero seven eight six zero 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 the other line is 0701-132-7096. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. We have a few times to go. Uh, yeah, my name is Austin, aka Jingo there. I'm calling from Adibe. Yes. Uh, yeah, good afternoon, our, our guest. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for enlightening us concerning yes. electricity. Because we have known much we did not know before. Now, my question is this. You said last week that what Nigeria is doing now is the, the transition company. It's not enough for us to consume. Then how come we are now giving a selling power to other neighboring countries? Okay. And we learned this recently that other neighboring countries they own uh, Nigeria uh, uh, several billion of, of Naira. Mm -hmm. why, why is that not another thing contributing to the main okay. in this country? Okay? Thank you. That's That's my question. What, what we are giving two countries, Benin Republic and Niger Republic. I'll talk about Niger first. We give electricity to Niger for strategic reason. I repeat, strategic reason. If you don't give electricity to Niger and they're paying for it, they're supposed to pay. They are owing some money now, but they pay. Every time we threaten to call them up, they pay. Now, if you don't give light to electricity to Niger Republic, they will go tell the French government, their father, in Paris, they will go and borrow money. But they are poor, that's why they are even looking at us. They will now go to the upper part of River Niger in their own country and dam it. When they do the dam, forget about Jeba, Shiro and Kanji. We are done. That's why. So we if I we should be begging them to give them electricity. That's the strategy. Said uh Dito with um Bene. But Bene and uh and EJ, the electricity we are giving them is not enough to power Kano State. It's not enough for Lagos, half of Lagos need more than that. So it is not the quantity we give out. It is our failure to do more. And I've said it on many programs that between 1989 and 1999, there were four Nigerian states, including an Obama. Number one of them, after 1989, there was General Babangida. After him, there was Shivan uh, Shoneko for a brief period. After him, there was General Bacha. After him, there was General Salama Bakar. Among these four people, four Nigerian big men who ruled Nigeria at different times in those 10 year period, they budgeted money for power every year. It's a public document, you can go and check. None of them, and I repeat, none of them ever built a single power plant. 
Whereas you build electricity with population. In that 10 year period, are you going to tell me that Nigeria, Nigeria population did not increase? But today, they have fans. They have people that will hail them anyway. Even Abacha in debt. So people are still hailing Abacha. That tells you where we are. We have gone to a very messy point in our nation. The day you start making corruption, you make it a death sentence. And the day judges stop receiving bribe, that's the day Nigeria will be better. That's the truth. Same thing goes for police and lawyers. Hello. Hello, good afternoon, please. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, sir. Um, the issue you are talking about is... Uh, your name, your name, sir. Uh, from, from the road, I'm sorry. My name is Biodoro Gunyani. I'm speaking from Bajori Estate, Opatuku. You see, uh, it, it's, it's an issue that concerns me, that concerns millions of Nigerians. For one particular area, which your, your guest in the studio has spoken about, is the issue of build and building. You see, when uh, the, 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 the prepared system of building was introduced, in fact, uh, it was a uh, hit was carrying a big load that was removed from my from my head, and I became very relaxed. I said, okay, the solution to Nigeria's electricity problem has been solved, because people will now pay for the electricity they use yes. without being unnecessarily charged. Yes, no but, but unfortunately, for instance, where I live, in the of here, I use a prepaid meter, and I make sure that I buy electricity on a monthly basis. As I'm talking to you now, I have more than 4,000 units. Your, your question, uh, sir, your have that no supply. Okay, my question is, is those who pay the paid uh, a meter, is that any way they can do, separate them from those who are, are stealing uh, electricity, so that they, they get the uh, result of the money they pay. That is my that, that's the issue. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very honest Thank point. You, Another call. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Okay. I think this yeah. is well, I want to out there. He's very bold, and I appreciate his boldness. Oh, thank you I want to transform this boldness to reality. What's your name, sir? Move like grandpa. Okay, my name. Oh, you called earlier. Okay, be very brief, sir. Be very brief, sir. Oh, that's all. Thank you very much for being brief. Yes. Um, can we respond? Okay. First, let me thank Mr. Akin Bidoni for calling back to thank me. Uh, if only in Nigeria people can appreciate what is good, yes. you'll be more motivated. Yes. Nigerian forget what they ate yesterday. They'll be talking about what they will eat tomorrow. Yes. But thank you very much for being that patriotic. I appreciate that. So, Mr. Biodrum Okunyemi, another very honest person. Unfortunately, sir, I wish we can separate the good from the bad. I live in your area too. I live in Alogi, which is close to Fajor. Um, the 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 thieves and the devils. Sorry, for the for, for, for the about for this public seat was from outside of the state. Fajol is somewhere in the state, so don't... Yes, <laughs> don't, no, I'm not, I'm don't not trying lost. to say that where he lives, he has made a good point. He has a lot of credits on his, on his meter, okay. but there's no supply. Yes. The supply came last night for a few hours and it went off. Okay, the problem is still to do with sufficiency, not just about chiefs. And uh, the condition of the chiefs and debtors is that they are not paying the distributor who, is, who have to pay the producer. That's their own contribution. But the other problem is lack of sufficiency. Koto, it is not enough. When you when you have a bakery and you only bake bread, maybe you bake 500 bread, and 5,000 people want to eat bread, they even have their money to pay. You cannot only serve capacity. those few. So that is the problem. So I think it goes back to the same thing, that in this country, 5,000 megawatts is not enough for 200 million people. We need to do more. That's right. that's the thing. All right. Um. Again, I want to. Uh, um. Let's. Okay. Just. Let, let's hold on with the call. Let's. Let, let's take. So you've taken. All right. Let's. Let's have the person. Hello. Good afternoon, please. Where are our mothers? Where are our ladies? Why are they not calling? I get. I get to wonder. It's all these men last week and this week. Let's take one more call and I reach two questions from here. Time is fast spent already. Hello. Good afternoon or good evening. Yeah. Good afternoon. Your name, sir. Where are you calling from? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. What? The name? On last from from Right. Yeah. I want to have. There was a day I returned from work, and I learned that uh, the lepers people came to our area uh, for for people that were deported. And because those guys, you know, were trying to have some quarrel with them, not to cut their life, they decided that they want to go and remove. You saw something from the transformer. 
of the community. So when I came, I said, that's just a kind of block. I want to to ask that, is it possible that they do that? Or is it just a kind of a threat from those people? And if it's possible... Is anyone to cut them off from some form? Is it possible to do what? To cut them off from some form, I think that was... I'm, I'm sorry, that... I think I get... To cut them off from some form, I think that I'm, was... I'm sorry, that... I think be, I get the point. That may be our last call. Just let's go to the call. Okay. So because we have some written down here that are very important. Let's... let's Okay. Um, the Oga asked whether it is possible for us to cut off uh, our customer from the stand for It is not a good practice. It is a very immoral practice. But I can give you a few examples. If there's a play called Oga in in, um, in um, Delta State, I've had to instruct our staff to do that because they were beating up our staff. Same thing happened in Trans Amadi, and I witnessed that in Jigawa. So. I cover the whole country where they give problem and touts and people start beating our staff. If we cannot disconnect Mr. Deremi because he has thugs that are going to beat us, then we will just simply take out the transformer, which means we will take out the whole community. Yes, it is possible. And I'm saying this, that can only happen as an exceptional. Okay? Because when you do that, it is wrong because the people with prepay meter, we'll the people that pay their bill, we can't do that. But we do that only when we have no other option. It happened to us at Elisha, where they beat our staff mercilessly. And you know, so, Mr. Alato, so you that, that's the that. I hope we don't know how to do it. That time is so, so, so fast spent. This is a question. I'm a tenant. I applied for prepaid meter. Now I want to relocate to my house. Is there anything stopping me from taking my meter to my new house? Okay, as at uh, August 2020, you cannot take your meter to your new house. What we are doing now with the federal government, even with August, the CBS, yes, August. I'm saying as at today. You cannot. After after this month? No, not this month. What I'm saying is that we are moving towards the technology that will allow that. Oh, beautiful. The current technology does not allow it. But what you can do, your your when you obtain a meter as a tenant, you should have obtained that meter in your name. Yes. In which case it is in your name. Yes. Now, if we know where you are going, if you are going, if for instance it's in Abeokuta yes. or in Ijebo, then you are moving within the same city. State. We can arrange for that to be done for you. Oh, great. Because, because it has, they have to reprogram it because of the building platform. Okay. But if you are moving across interstate or away from where you are, it's difficult. But your landlord is supposed to pay if the thing is in his house, possibly in his name. Again, what we are working on now is to see we, how we can link people's BVN Sweet with that. their bill. If I link your BVN with your bill, whether you go to Jokoto or. You can be trapped. We, we, will, we will follow you the money. We will follow you. So. That problem is still because not every household are metered. By the time all households are metered, where you are moving to, there will be a meter there. But, but as it is now, it's as it is it now, it. I'm sorry, it's 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 not, it. unless where you are going, it's not too far. It's from, not far. From. I can arrange that. What, what distance? Time, is Let's just have No, I'm saying if you are within the same Abelkuta, yes. if you are within the Jeun business hub, yes. it's different from when you are in Aru. I see. All right. That's I think uh, just of us, for the person that sent that question, I hope you hear that. Two more questions, if time will permit us. This is the second to the last question, sir. Last week, you said some power equipment have been. If our time won't permit us, let's move to the last question because you have to read um, some other things before we sign out today. Sir, if you were with the president or governor, what would you do to fix Nigeria's electricity problem? Number one, I will try not to steal. If I try to be greedy like all of them are, I will reduce my greed. By the time you reduce your greed, there will be enough to do other things. Why people come to my house and they come to me all the time because they know I have put only money and they want to share part of it. But if they see that, go and look at where Jimmy Carter lives, former president of the US. <laughs> if they see that you don't have much yourself they will come. and they see that you do things in a transparent Openly. way, they will respect you. The issue of electricity is the same thing with water and other things in this country, even roads. It has taken us that many years now to do legal to by the express way. It's a shame of a nation. Number two. So we have failed you as a nation. Mm -hmm. So number two, we need to put round peg in the round hole. Mm -hmm. You don't just appoint people for party party's sake. Whoever will be appointed a minister for power must know about power. I think you have to stop on number two, sir. For time's yes. sake, our producer is already Thank you very much. signaling to me. Thank Nigeria, you. Nigeria. I, I wish I could go on and on. I, I was good. I have a lot of questions. I shall wish I could ask Chief. Can, Okay, let, let me now ask you. Let, let me ask our listeners: Can Nigeria be better? She yes. Yes. I, I leave the answer to us now. 
Um, ah, I'm sorry, our mothers and fathers, that we could not um, see you brought today. I'm not being seen here, John. To all of them, I'm not being you. God, dear, come on, allow me, John. To all of them, keep your head high, bow. Now, about three weeks ago, we had victims of human trafficking in the studio. I called the uh, account line. Unfortunately, only one person has sent something to them. Hey, Joe, hey, Karen, hello, I beg you. The account is um, the account name is Agbison uh, Agbison Wa. Hope I got that. Uluwa Show. The bank is Wema Bank. Oh, 0221 225 996. Let us help them. I'm going to come to one ah, but that's him all. So, no, nothing is too little. Please, I beg us. The account is Wema Bank 0221 225 996. The name you will see there is Agbesonwa or something. Uluwashion. May God help us to do that, please. And this goes to, as I round off, um, Sheya Kiande, a former FUNAP student that committed suicide because police officers at Obada unlawfully arrested him. They made him lose his project. He earned extra year and he lost the internet business he was doing to the tune of about 7 million naira. All these things were too much for Sheyi to take. He took his own life. I've written to the IG. Our office have written to the AIG uh, as well, Oga Iliasu. We have written to the Commissioner of Police. I've met even the DCs. Only we're not here. Unfortunately, nothing has been done by any of them. Unfortunately, we need the names of these officers. The, the blood of this boy is crying for justice. Same thing for Kakati Ami, the footballer that was killed by the same Obada police people, formerly ZIS. He was killed in Shagamu from what we heard. What is happening about them? Very soon, by God's grace, I've spoken to Mr. Bimbala Oyemi. I hope to bring him to the studio sometime very soon. He's a very busy man. Once he comes, even before then, let's answer questions. And um, to Governor Dakwa Biodun, please tell your governor, we appointed you and all that. Tell your people. Let them respond when they are engaged to questions. Please, I want to thank our listeners. This is Rock City FM. Please, your advice, you are free. Between now and next week, Sunday, so far we can go. Whatever you do, ensure that you are on the right side of the law. God bless you.